Bold Claim Reuse Logic Nexus is an OOP solution which when used correctly enables you to completely decouple your systems or modules so you can reuse them in any project with absolutely zero code modification. Believe it or not, this is what I have been working on for more than a year. With the fall of Unity and the rise of my love for Godot, I began to port my OOP solutions to Godot. And now finally, here is the first devlog of the Reuse Logic Nexus add-on for Godot 4. In order to make it happen, a bunch of custom properties are needed. These are the ones I've implemented in Godot successfully. Signal Picker, Signal Picker Child, Signal Picker Array, Signal Picker Group, Signal Picker Group Array, Action Emitter and Action Emitter Array. Let's have a look at them. Bringing the folder to an empty project, let's enable the add-on. For testing purposes, I've set up this simple 3D scene. Here I have a node 3D as the root, a brain as the direct child of the root, and a node as a child of the brain. The root parent is not the brain because we don't want to touch the brain code every time we create a new object. The root contains the exported interface so that the designers can modify the variables of the system in the inspector. The brain for now is only a signal manager, containing all the valid signals of the system. Let's add a bunch of signals. There are two basic signal pickers, signal picker and signal picker child. The difference is that the signal picker scans the hierarchy up until it catches the first brain and populates the dropdown based on the signals in the caught brain. The signal picker child does the opposite. It scans the hierarchy down until it catches the first brain. So the child version is supposed to be used in the parent of the brain, which is the root node. If you use them incorrectly, the dropdown won't be populated of course. Let's make the root node listen to the signal. and let's make the child node emit the signal when the game runs. Selecting the signals inside the inspectors run the game and it is working as expected. Let's have a look at the other signal pickers. The signal picker array holds an array of signal pickers. The signal picker group holds a signal picker plus a signal picker array. The use case is in the state machine when the state listens to one single signal and emits an array of signals in return. And of course we have the signal picker group array which holds an array of signal picker groups. More on the state machine system in a future develop. We also have the action emitter and action emitter array properties because we need to emit signals when there is some input. Let's add a bunch of actions to the input map. W for walking, space for jumping, and shift for sprinting. I've created a ready to use module called the input manager, which already utilizes action emitter arrays. It has two action emitter arrays for each function. So if you want to check the action inside the physics process, you should enter the action emitters in the appropriate group. Let's add three action emitters to the physics process pressed group. These are gonna happen when the input is pressed. We want to stop sprinting when the sprint action is released, so let's add it to the physics process release too. But this time we emit the sprint release signal instead. Pause the video and read the code if you want to see how the input manager is implemented. Let's make the root node do the actual walking, sprinting and jumping. Disabling the emitter in the child node, run the game and everything is working perfectly. Now suppose the child node does some fancy effect. It's an independent module which can be used in all kinds of scenarios. It must be decoupled and now we want to use it while the player jumps. Run the game and guess what? It works too. If you are new to the channel, you may be kinda confused on what I'm trying to achieve here. What you saw here is based on the previous videos in the series. And if you haven't digested those concepts yet, this may not make much sense to you. However, this will make way more sense when I add the state machine system to reuse Logic Nexus add-on. And I'm currently working on that. Due to your great support i've decided to share the add-on for free when it's completed subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that piece thank you